it's Krista Lahara here with a new tutorial for Emily Soto's Fashion Actions. Today we'll be taking a look at a brand new action called Aspen, which is released under the Victorian collection. So here we have a photo taken by Emily Soto, and first I'd like to show you how we can split our screen so we can work on the same photo by viewing it in two windows. To begin, go up to the top tab and select Window, Arrange, and you'll choose the new window for your photo option. Now you can see your photo is displayed in two different tabs. Go back up to Window, Arrange, this time you'll be selecting the two up vertical option. Now your photo is side by side. You can go ahead and zoom in on the photo to whichever part you'd like to focus on. So I like to look right here at her face so we can take a look at all the detail there. Now before I begin running the action on any of the photos, I always like to make sure I take care of all of my cosmetic adjustments such as facial retouching and eye highlights which you can see I've already done here. I've added the eye highlight to make her eyes pop a little bit, and I've used the Fashion Skin Action to give her that really beautiful, flawless look to her skin. Okay, so let's begin with the action. Come over here to your action panel, and we'll be selecting the Aspen Action. Now we have two versions available. We have the Pro option and the One Click option. We'll begin with the Pro option so we can go step by step to see how this action works. Just begin by pressing play, and that will bring us to our first prompt. So this is our curve layer. This layer controls the shadows and the highlights of our photo. You can adjust those by selecting the points on the graph and dragging them away a little bit to add more light on her face and just adjusting it, bringing up the shadows if they're too dark for you. You really just wanna play with this layer to get it to look the best way that you like for your photo. Once you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and click okay to continue. Here we have another curve layer. This one will be adding a little bit of darkness and moodiness to our photo. So you can just drag this point on the graph like we did before, adjusting it to however much darkness you'd like to have on your photo. And once you're happy with that one, we'll go ahead and click OK to continue. This is our floor haze gradient, which is the light coming up here from the bottom. You can just click on it and drag and drop wherever you like it on your photo and we'll click OK to continue. This one is our soft haze light. It's right up here by her face. You can drag this one wherever you like it as well. I think I'll keep it coming out from her shoulder over here in the back. All right, beautiful, click OK to continue. So this will bring up our last prompt, letting us know we've completed the action, reminding us that we can get in there and adjust the layers to our liking, however you creatively like it the best. So we have all those layers right here in the Aspen folder. You can click that down to take a look at the layers. You can come through here step by step to turn the layers on and off to see how it affects the photo, if you like it, if you'd like a little bit less of it, or if you want more of it, you can always change the opacity sliders over here. There we go. And also you can change the whole overall photo with uh, the opacity for the Aspen action the whole folder right there. So if it's too dramatic for you, you can always dial it back a little bit or you can keep it at the full 100%. Okay, I'll go ahead and delete these layers so we can take a look at the one click option. Just select that one and press play. So here in just one easy step, we've completed the entire action that's been run for you on the photo. And there's our last prompt. So just like we had in the pro version, you can come over here to the folder you can toggle it down and take a look at all the different layers, and you can adjust those um, different layers to your liking as well. You can always play with the different layer masks by painting it with a paintbrush. Make sure you have that black paint layer selected so that you can virtually just erase whatever parts of the photo you don't want it to be on. There we go. Well, that's the Aspen Action. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. For more information, visit us at www.fashionactions.com and stay creative!